want to cover a few things with you today to hopefully clear your mind out of all these little different things that you have going on and give you a chance to work on them. So as I was saying is, you know, you can do your, all your technical stuff and your practice swing as much as you want. You can go as slow as I've said as you want. You can work on all your technical stuff. But when we stand up to hit it, we want to have our intent of movement to start our swing, whether it's like, you know, something in the hip starting you back, whatever it is to help get you started. You know, a lot of people think of their chest, belly button going, that's the way to get them started moving. You know, kind of have that intent to get going and you gotta let it go, okay? Hopefully the stuff you've done before and all the reps you put in at slow motion will pay off if you trust in it, okay? So, you know, I mean, you brought up several things. I think the biggest thing you're confused about is, is how far are you going forward in this glide motion, okay? So the answer is about four to six inches. So if I am here, let me put this right about here, okay? And so I turn, let's sit right over the ball, because this is where the ball would be. right in the middle of my stance, let's say, and I have this kind of right here on the outside. So I turn, so I'm right over the ball, right? So we have this diagonal glide backwards, right? And then we work on, so your, one of your questions was, I'm gonna switch this real quick. Does your head go forward? Does the whole body go forward? No, okay, your head is gonna stay back while your lower body gets through, okay? Do you see the difference? So I'm not like this, all right? So yes, your body is, so we diagonally go backwards, but then the head stays back while my, the rest of my body's going forward. So you're gonna look something like an impact like this, but your head is still gonna be, if you put this right here, back right here where you started on the ball, and then you can come up after that, okay? So practice, I don't, you know, make up something like this at home. You, you're very uh, ingenious about uh, making things up with the way you did your room and at your house to hit balls in. So um, I'm sure you can come up with something here that you can put on the outside of your foot and know that you just turn and glide right into that. And here's your spot. Okay. So the other thing is, okay, now you're talking about width, you know, you're losing your width and you aren't showering, shallowing. Okay. So let me just show you a, a routine I want you to follow, okay? And this is your practice routine all the way till we get to hitting the ball. And I want you to perform this every time you're hitting the ball. Now when you're at home, you're just gonna perform the parts of it without hitting the ball, okay? So we get set up nicely. Now, so one of the things we want is some width, right? We're gonna make sure we get our width pushing away from what our shoulder right so this means my right arm will not be collapsed it'll be at worst 90 more like that okay so we're gonna be here now I want you just to do this dump it down like this and then go on your diagonal backwards and come through like that okay that's number one okay now we're gonna add in number two this is right before you're ready to hit because you did this really really slow that move now we're gonna kind of get ready to hit we're gonna go Feet together. This is your baseball drill. I'll turn you into an American here. <laughs> Feet together. And what's going to happen is here, I'm going to do this. Um, let me do it this way first to show you. I'm going to do this with my feet together first to show you. So the club is opening, pointing towards the sky, closing, opening, closing, opening, closing. See how I let my body go with it? Okay. So one difference is we want to do this. Feet together. When this club starts going back, I'm gonna step forward like this, okay? So I want you to do this with speed too, but you're gonna be like this. Feet together. Okay, so you go feet together like that. Then you're gonna immediately just step up to your ball, have your intent and hit it, okay? So, that's the process I want you to follow through. Take your time on these movements here for width. Now, if you're having struggles getting this width, there's several ways you can do it, I've told you about. One is we can go split grip drill, which is a great one right here. Key to this where I see people mess up is this. Pay close attention to this one because I see this messed up all the time and you'll, I don't want you making yourself worse by a drill. The drills are, 
I think way even a little more important than the swing in the sense of this. I mean, obviously the swing is more important. Your hand the ball counts, but the drills you're doing slow motion. Okay, so it's more important that we get them right because we're feeding our motor patterns right now. Okay, so if we're doing it wrong, we're feeding the wrong wrong parts of our brain. Okay, so split grip drill. I got my line stick down right, like you always do. So if you watch when I take this back, my left, your right hand will follow the path of the line of the stick back. That will stop you from going like this, which is what people do. It'll get this thing, it'll go like this, way back here. I want you following that and getting to here. So you follow your left, my left, your right hand will follow that back, and then you'll be more in like a regular position up here, okay? And then you can practice coming down like that. And then if I want to go to the ball, I'd go like that. Oops, I'm playing hockey. Boom. See, it's all related, buddy. <laughs> so anyways, let's do it real quick. So here's your routine that I would do for you. Let's just go with the split grip drill. We're gonna follow that back. I know I got my width. Down to impact, nice, we're getting in there, okay? Now we go like this. I don't have a ball here, but we'll go. Just like that, okay? One, two, three. Let me know if you have questions, if I didn't answer any of them there. Now, the one thing you'll notice is when you're doing a split grip, it's gonna be a little different with dumping it like that, laying it off. If you want, you can do it with your hands together, just like that, and then I want you, then you go back like this and come through. And you learn, what you're learning from this, buddy, is to close the club face by rotation, not with your hands going like this, okay? That's where we'll get that massive power. Um, and your other question was, a slower backswing, do I want to do that? Well, first I would ask why. If it's helping you, then do it for a while, I guess. But yes, you're gonna hit it slower. I mean, you're gonna hit it uh, not as far. Um, you know, one of the easiest things to do, increase distance is increase your backswing. Your backswing, you'll increase your through swing. So, but it's most important you're getting these moves right now, not distance. So. If you feel for now that helps you to get to where you gotta get to, then do it, okay? Um, then just make sure you have something like that up there so when you're doing the drill here, you know where you're posting up against, okay? All right, let me know if you have any questions. Hopefully this covers it all, but if it doesn't, feel free to ask. And you're doing a great job, just keep doing it, okay? All right, thanks.